Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we're back with the new units, muskets. We want to see... I've heard that they can penetrate three units in a row now. So we're going to test that. Now this was just kind of gratuitous violence. <laughs> but we're going to be doing an actual test in just a minute. But so remember, you got to make muskets relevant, right? Oh shit, this guy looks like he's going to get shot in the back. Oh! They all got hit in like the shoulders, man. So, a few died to friendly fire, but what we're gonna do here, look at that funny formation. Why not, right? Why not? Okay. So, we're going to do a musket, and we're gonna do one sheet. Well, might as well do two shields, right? And we're gonna see if they can pen the two shields with one shot. Come on. Oh. Well, he may have fired lower not center of mass so we're gonna run that test one more time because it's kind of tricky to tell but I'm pretty sure they can pen two shields or they can definitely go through multiple men so we're gonna do a little Congo line it looks like so far it's only one shield let's try three shields actually we'll just make one long line and see what happens Woo, so we've got six in a row. I had a hot Italian sandwich for uh, lunch, and man, it is kicking in my stomach, but I'm loving it. Okay, so that was a missed shot, so this test is not going exactly to plan. That looked like two in a row at point blank. Let's run it again. Maybe, maybe they won't miss on that first shot. So shields have been updated so that all arrows cannot penetrate them. Poacher arrows or arch arrows. That was two in a row. That was two guys in a row. Let's one more time for science. For science. Come on, get three. Eh, that was one. I, I don't know if it's like the angle, but now we'll do a little conga line of peasants. Now let's see if he can shoot right down that line. He missed. <laughs> he freaking missed. Come on, dude. Oh, he hit the last two. Let's run it again. Sometimes their accuracy is the issue. Okay, so he's walking. He's trying to stabilize his gun. And fire. Missed. He freaking missed. These narrow lines of men are difficult for muskets. <laughs> he shot someone in the back. I, Like in the middle of the line. All right, let's just run. Maybe he's just like aiming for too many of them, right? Because they're more or less in line. If he can hit center of mass... See, that took out two of them. I've been told that they can go through three. Let's see if he, he can... He at least took out those guys. All right, so we're going to we're gonna put one more in and see if we can't... Well, maybe we'll try this. Twelve units. All right, we had a little bit of wonky. <laughs> he didn't hit any of them? You're kidding me. That was a terrible shot. Oh my god, we're gonna have to run that one again. Come on, boys. They're like holding their each other's arms up. That was just one. He looked like he got shot straight in the dick. Alright, what about... What's a unit that will tr do their best to stay in line? Maybe like a footman. Let's see what happens here. They're in a line. They're in a perfect line. They're kind of spaced out. Well, not a perfect line. And he misses his first shot. Dude, he's not even going to get off a second one. That's going to hit. Oh, he got stabbed in the dick. So, muskets are really, really good at range, right? Okay. Well, I think the only way to test this then... Whoops. We don't need footmen over there. And we're just going to do peasant conga line. <laughs> okay, we might need a few more muskets then. Let's give them like 25. 25 muskets, 45 peasants, and a giant conga line. Oh, that first salvo was devastating. Look at that. They made like a hill of men to climb over. A la Game of Thrones. 
Come on, you guys gotta be better. Look at them just falling over each other. Oh, devastation. Dude, they're literally creating mountains of men. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't even know. The muskets, dude, imagine muskets with bayonets. This guy just broke through the lines. Let's see. Oh, he's carrying, oh, he actually got fairly far and I think one of these guys over here shot him. How about a few conga lines? We're gonna make them a little bit smaller. All right, peasant conga line. We're gonna make it so like the musketeers have to like, ooh, three musketeers have to focus elsewhere and we're gonna put a few more in on the wings. Cause I'm wondering if all the muskets just focus on the, on like, aggroing is definitely a very, very important mechanic in this game. All right. You may fire when ready. Wow, didn't even have to say that, and they just started going. Cause I'm, I was thinking this line would focus on that conga line. Well, now they're kind of. Wow, that center line was just absolutely destroyed. Oh man, excellent shot. So there's only four peasants, aka zombies, left. So I think zombies would be a cool mechanic for this game. Are zombie games overdone? Yes, but would zombies be a good supplement to this game? Hell yes. All right, let's, we gotta increase the uh, zombie line a bit. We'll make it 75. All right, but yeah, so think about if each one, if if a zombie hit one of these guys, he'd turn him into another zombie. How cool would that be? So we're running 20 frames per second right now. What the shit? Did you see this? This guy died back here. I'm thinking it was one of those guys over there that shot at the end of this blue line. The zombies look like they're doing better. They've got all three lines with some people there, some zombies, charging the lines. I think this one might be the end of it. Oh yeah, this looks like the end. Wow. So they went from slaughtering the zombies to just like, you know, not. All right, now I wanna see, let's do like, we've done the zombie conga lines, right? Why am, I, why am I doing that? Why am I not hitting the clear button? We're gonna do a shield conga line. This sounds fun. Shield conga line with two smaller conga lines over here. You must be in order. All right, look at this. Shield congas. Fire! Oh, <laughs> it's amazing how like, some of the shots miss and hit some of the guys in the other lines. Oh, it's just devastation. Because I don't think anyone's aiming at that right line. But some of them still suffer. Wow. So we found what kills shields. And that is musketmen. Musketmen absolutely destroy shields. So let's see. We're gonna we're gonna make the we're gonna make these lines a little more competitive. Because once we increase the uh, zombie conga line, that definitely played a factor. And as a result, fire! Oh yes, dude! I can't wait to put these guys in the campaign. What do you guys think of that Napoleonic era campaign challenge, where we just use cannons and musketmen, and maybe if need be a peasant? Because I honestly, I think level one's gonna be difficult because I'll only be able to fire or afford one musketman. They're doing better. They push through the lines, but I still think they're definitely gonna get shot because shieldmen aren't very good at putting down the enemy. It's more of like, oh, look at this. This red guy's gonna get shot. Oh, he didn't. He didn't get shot by friendly fire. That's that's fantastic. But yeah, two units I'd love to see are a zombie unit and a crossbowman. I think that would be awesome. All right, we're gonna see how many this is. We're gonna make it 75 versus 34. So outnumbered two to one. But when these things go through like two shieldmen or can, look at that front row just, it's like five or six deep, just got devastated. Oh, and it's so difficult. For, this guy's like the farthest forward, so he's gonna get aggroed. Oh, just absolutely slaughtered. Okay, so the shieldmen are in the lines now. And ha half of them just died. Actually, that was more friendly fire done than enemy enemy shieldmen killed. Come on, men. Fire. 
dude, the tracking. But oh yeah, Gatling guns would definitely be a thing. Like, I feel like you could just have like, like 20 muskets or like even 10 it and just like alternating firing tat 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 tat. Oh, this guy's gonna get wrecked right in the ribs. We've got a few shieldmen left actually though. But they're all over here, definitely outside of the range or like in range of musketmen. Oh, they're, they're tracking. They're aggro tracking though, definitely gives the shieldmen a little bit more life. Not much of a chance, but a little bit longer on this earth. This silly crater-like earth. Oh, we got one left. The last of them. Ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. Oh, he got shot in the butt! Well, so that is kind of a, a little bit of a penetration test, so let's do it one more time. We're gonna do... The musket man. I wonder what a musket does to a chariot. Hmm, things to be tested. What if we did farmers? I think farmers run kind of slow. Slower than peasants, maybe? And these ones, they drop their spear. Oh, come off it, mate. They drop their pitchforks. Yeah, they're not really lined up. And he fired in between the groups. We'll just do peasants. Let's put them... Let's make them pretty close. Because I think if they're directly lined up... He's not directly lined up. Wait. He hit the... Oh, he hit three in a row! It is confirmed. You can kill... You can penetrate three. That should have... I'm surprised that didn't kill them, actually. Oh, no. They got past the bayonet. Dude, musky with bayonets would be cool. That'd be really cool. It'd be, I, th I wonder how difficult that would be to program. But yeah, musky with bayonets, crossbowmen, zombies, uh, a Gatling gun, crossbows. There's just so many possibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the uh, musket man penetration test. It looks like three bodies you can get through. There's so many other tests still to do just with Muskimen. There's campaign challenges. There's so much. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. I'm still getting to the battles and formations suggestions you guys gave in the last two Muskimen videos. There's now over 3,000 comments on those two videos alone, so it's, it's a lot to sort through. Bear with me. F feel free to keep putting your suggestions until they're met. Um, or if they ever do get met, that's a possibility too. But I really appreciate the support of this series and this new channel. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.